if NFTs are the future and there's an, an infinite number of use cases for NFTs and we're just waiting for an NFT app to be the big app on Ethereum, not only is it gonna be one of the most expensive apps for you to run on Ethereum, it's also going to increase the gas cost. And so we need to come up with solutions that scale in such a way that don't disincentivize mass adoption. Hi, I'm Andrew Levine, the CEO of Coinos Group. And I recently had a conversation with one of my co-founders and one of the blockchain architects at Coinos Group building the, the Coinos blockchain, uh, Michael Vandenberg. We talked about NFTs and specifically the, the scaling challenges that existing platforms will face relating to uh, non-fungible tokens. Everybody thinks that non-fungible tokens will be this massive use case, and we actually totally agree with that. We think that the potential market for NFTs is practically infinite, but we also think that there are a lot of things that people aren't discussing about NFTs, a lot of realities with respect uh, to these assets and uh, the implications that they have on things like fees uh, that people are c conveniently forgetting to talk about. And so that's what I talked about with Michael recently. And so this episode of the Coinos Group podcast is, is going to be that conversation. So I hope you enjoy it. So I was wondering if you could talk about the scaling challenges that are, are related to NFTs and the problems that existing platforms um, will have dealing with these supposedly infinite use cases for NFTs. One of the most expensive operations on Ethereum is saving state. That, that is a very high gas um, VM instruction. And so NFTs are unique, right? That's the whole, that's the definition of an NFT, right? Even if they are identical, they are still tr tracked as unique assets. If I transfer coin to a different address than the one I currently control, it's going to cost more gas than if I did a subsequent transfer. And every other subsequent transfer will be a lot cheaper because I am not creating new state. I am updating state. I'm right. The, the exact, like I'm not increasing the amount of, I'm not increasing the size of the Ethereum database. I'm just updating it. And, but the thing is with NFTs is every issuance of, of an NFT is creating new state, right? It's it, it if I have, you know, we're, we're, we're creating uh, 100 million coin and the amount of, uh, the number of bytes that that uses is proportional to the number of addresses. Whereas if we created 100 million NFTs, that's gonna use, a, that's gonna use the same number of bytes, no matter if one, if one person owns all the NFTs or if 100 million people each own one. So the first thing is it's gonna be more expensive for you, the user, to use an NFT contract than it is for you to use an ERC-20 contract, even if gas prices stay the same. However, once we reach mass adoption, um, more and more people are going to be wanting to use Ethereum or whatever other blockchain that app exists on. And so there is going to be more competition to get your transactions included, which will then increase the gas prices. So, if NFTs are the future and there's an, an infinite number of use cases for NFTs and we're just waiting for an NFT app to be the big app on Ethereum, not only is it going to be one of the most expensive apps for you to run on Ethereum, it's also going to increase the gas cost. And uh, the gas prices right now are uh, not historically high, but consistently high and, and higher than they have been in a long time. So we are only expecting that to increase. So it's sort of like this, this huge like catch 22 of the, uh, the use case that we, that everybody has a hunch is gonna be the most impactful to everyday people is also the most expensive use case. And it's also gonna increase the cost of using Ethereum. And so like, it's this weird thing, like it'll increase the gas prices and then, oh, 
all these people that started using your app are going to stop using it because it got too expensive to use. Essentially, the system as a whole is disincentivizing mass adoption. And so we need to come up with solutions that scale in such a way that don't disincentivize mass adoption.